All right, guys, I'm gonna to talk to you while, while I get the boat ready. So we're here at Hope Del Marina, and it is the first day that we're able to get out on the water after uh, Hurricane Sally. So we had Hurricane Laura, but then we had Hurricane Sally. Haven't been getting much of a break, but today the wind is forecasted to lay down to at least under, you know, like 10 knots. I'm not holding my breath. The water is up a lot higher than what it should be, and this is after we've had all this northwest wind, which dropped all the water out of the marsh and got it back down to a little bit below normal levels, kind of like as if a cold front hit. But then for whatever reason, if you look up the Shell Beach buoy, it just shot straight back up. And it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But when you think about it, if that northwest wind was pushing all that water out, and then it stopped blowing like it did right now, then the water's gonna equalize. So I guess that kind of makes sense. The curvature just looks a little weird on the graph, that's all. Anyway, tide's gonna rise, and then depending on where we fish, whether it's Shell Beach uh, or you know the East Biloxi Marsh, it can start dropping as late as 4 p.m. or as early as 1 p.m. So I'm hoping to take advantage of that one, incoming moving water, that rising tide, and then try and get onto that falling tide, which is really the best kind of tide you want to fish when fishing that white shrimp pattern, right? I think anybody would agree with me that that falling tide is the best. And uh, if you do or if you don't, let me know in the comments below. What's better during the fall fishing season or like the beginning of the fall fishing season when we have a lot of white shrimp? Is it a rising tide or a falling tide? So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting the boat ready and I'm going to get this bad boy in the water. I'm running a little bit late. Um, if, if I had things my way, I would have already already be at my first fishing spot, but it does make better for recording to have a little bit of light out. So. This is the plan. I'm gonna go straight to the rock dam just because it's close, it's easiest right there. The sun's already up. Depending what happens there, we'll run around to the south side of the rock dam and work our way down to the Mystic Go Long Rocks, then run up into uh, the Bloodsu Marsh and hit up all that stuff that I picked out on Google Earth, which if you're a member of LAF Elite, you've seen that planning video already. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Let's kick this pig. All right, we are here. So my plan here is just to go down this thing, just to go down the shoreline and just jig it out. Man, I'm hung up. Oh man, come on, come out, there we go. Hung up again. There we go, and now I'm out. Sometimes it just needs a little shake. There we go. Oh yeah, boy. Good man. I don't know what this is, but whatever. It hit like a like a pile of bricks, like a freaking freight train, man. It's probably a redfish. Now, for those of you saying that you know the the 13 pound drag on a die with the tool isn't strong enough to handle a redfish. He ain't pulling out drag right now. Yeah, it's a redfish. Oh man, oh, that was such a dumb move on my part. That was such a dumb move. All right, man, that was so dumb. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm gonna be kicking myself in the ass all day long over that now. Whatever, I'll redeem myself. Come on out, buddy. I'm talking to my jig right now. There we go. Ooh, man, it just got thumped right there. Now I'm hung up. And now I'm off. There we go. Oh, what's that? It's a little... Little lady fish is what that is. Well, why can't you come off the dang hook, huh? I hate these things so much. I'm gonna put a little shad spray on. Mmm, delicious. What do you think about sprays? 
You believe in them? I'm a believer, 100%. Man, we're about to run to that other side. the dang thing. There's a big old bait ball. Yes. I like to see bait balls. Really don't want to screw around here if I don't need to and I'm just going to get down this rock pile. I'm not going to pick it apart. I feel that if there's fish here I will catch one. Hey what's up man? What's your name? There's a big old jack right there. Oh, I'm about to sight fish a jack right now. Come on, Jack. Oh, I got him. <laughs> I got him on 12 pound fluorocarbon, so I need to be careful. 13 pounds of drag isn't isn't hardcore enough. Well, guys, it's, it's holding this jack in place right now. There he is. We got color now. Oh, he's huge. That's a big old jack. Got him. All right. Yeah landed a jack on 12 pound fluorocarbon. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm pretty sure he's hung over. There's something wrong with this fish, guys. <laughs> There's something wrong with this fish. Oh yeah. Whee! Bang. What's the lightest tackle you ever landed a jack cravel on? All right, I think these fellows over here were trying to say hi before the jack crashed the party. Have y'all had any luck? We uh, did some top water over here around the corner. That's awesome. Two real quick. Uh-huh. Uh, but then it's just been red. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name earlier. Yeah, it's Rod. Well, it's nice to meet you, Rod. Wow, what was that? There we go. I think this is a little redfish. Yep, sure is. And I'm boat flipping this bad boy. <laughs> Y'all want this guy? Yeah, we'll take it. All right. Hey, nice to meet you, by the way. Yes, yeah, thank uh -huh. you. And Devin, by the way. Uh, put him right here? Yeah. Uh, thank you for your service. Uh, well, I, 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 preach, I appreciate you again. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I follow you. Good right? meeting you. I'm Watch. Michael. Nice to meet That's you, Michael. Michael. Yeah. Uh huh. No problem. If I if I catch any more like that size, I'll I'll, I'll swing by. Okay, we're gonna be I tried boat flipping a redfish this morning. That's way too big to boat flip. That line just popped right at the side of the boat. Ooh, baby. All right. That's what we came here for. There we go. These are probably redfish. Yeah, it's a stinking redfish. And not, not the kind I want. Uh, it might be the kind I want. Man, he's got a lot of spunk in him. Look at that. There we go. I'm gonna go pass off those fish to uh, Ron and Michael. We're gonna bounce. I'm not gonna stick around. It is time to go. Get a good grip on him. Yep. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna head that away. All right, let's get on out of here. All right, baby. We are here. Okay. Water here, slightly sort of a little dirty, but more green. Let's just get to work. We fished this 100 bagillion times. I have a 100 bagillion videos here. Dude, there's so much bait in the water, it's unreal. Gosh, I don't know what that is. Man, it, it, can't, it can't, cannot possibly be shrimp. Man, I wish I had a cast net. If it were, then there's no speckled trout or anything eating it, that's for sure. I would love to see some trout green water though. That would be nice. 
Okay, all right. This is what's up, boys and girls. I'm not feeling this at all. What I am going to do, however, is run that away and just look, see what it looks like. Maybe it'll be clean and green, not this weird dirtiness that I definitely talked about in the planning video. So we'll see what, what's going on there, but this, what, this is what I'm thinking. This water is high. It is ridiculously high. I'm thinking that would probably be a good time to just go catch a few more reds and polish off a limit of redfish, right? So uh, let's take a ride that way. We'll look for green water, see, see if it's doable or not. Then we'll go back that way, see if we can't get on some redfish, and then go up into the Bluxy Marsh and get on that falling tide. And that, that falling tide won't be falling the, the way I like until hours from now, but playing redfish can bail us out right now. Because man, playing trout, we covered this much water and we only caught one. Like, come on, man. So what do y'all think about playing redfish? You think that's gonna work? Think it's a dumb idea? Post about it in the comments below. See y'all there. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look particularly awesome. Yeah, I'm not feeling this at all. What the? Are you freaking kidding me? There's a big hole. There's a giant hole in my pants. Guys, how long has that been there? I have a big hole in my pants. I can't publish a video where, there, where my ass is hanging out. Ah! Okay, all right, I got that out. Fortunately, I have a backup. Dry bag. Please, for the love of God, let there be pants in here. There's pants in here. Oh yeah, boy. I need to take a quick intermission. Change clothes. I cannot believe my ass is hanging out. All right, I got pants back on, and the whole reason you want to have a dry bag with spare clothes in it. And uh, thankfully today I did. Uh, it's more of a comfort thing during the summertime, but uh, it's more of a stay alive and don't die kind of thing during the winter time. So it's good to have a dry bag with spare clothes. So uh, anyways, we came out here to look to see like what the water clarity was like. And uh, the sea stays doable. You know, I, I could pretty much run anywhere in here. Just, it'll just be a little choppy. But uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna run back that way and try and get on some redfish. So let's run in that direction. Let's see what happens. Oh, and by the way, have you ever tore your pants while you're out fishing with your ass hanging out all day long? If you have, yeah, if you have the story like that, share it in the comments below. All right, baby, we are here. I'm gonna turn that motor up. Let's break out that matrix crawl. Let's get to work. Let's catch some redfish, let's do it. There we go. Oh, oh, what is up? We fish getting off the hook today, but okay. Well, we got bit, so that's good. There we go. Now. Oh. What? All right, there's gotta be something up with this hook, dude. There's gotta be. The hook's fine. I guess I could probably bend it up a little bit. Okay, I bent it up a little bit. All right, this is the kind of bite where we, we wanna be on, where we go around the corner and, and we're, we're getting bit.
Here we go. Oh, you son of a bitch, I got you now. Oh, yes. Boat flip of the century. I'm gonna get you unhooked. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you for the fight. Tell you what, that redfish hit that bait like a pile of bricks. Stingray. There's rays we stays. All right. Here goes a sheep's head. Where there's heads, there's reds. Here we go. Yeah, boy. Playing redfish saving the day. Here we go, right there, ladies and ladies and gents. Yeep, doink. All right. One more to catch a limit. I'm all right with that. I watched him eat it. Oh, that was awesome. I watched him come up right down and suck it down. Yeah, there's a there's a decent number of redfish here. That is a limit of redfish. Blink right there on that dot. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put them back in the water and we are gonna go check all that trout stuff. We have a limit of redfish. We caught five reds, whoop de doo We're on a good pattern. This pond, boy, that, man, he took off. This pond has lots of snot grass everywhere. I love seeing that. I feel as if I found somewhere I can come back to. The time is 2.55. That tide should be falling really good right now. We should be able to get on a something and that would be fantastic. It'd be great to find some diving birds, man. And above all, a good speckled trout bite. Playing redfish is saving the day here. What I wanna know is if you have ever used playing redfish to bail out a speckled trout fishing trip that really wasn't going quite the way you're hoping it would. Post up your story in the comments below. I look forward to reading it. Let's get on plane and get the hell out of here. Here we are, and man, you know what I don't see? I don't see diving birds. I really feel like the best bite's gonna happen at like 7 p.m. or something like that. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm just wasting my time here. I just got that feeling. I mean, water's not really moving. Let's just get going. This ain't gonna do it. All right, guys, I'm just gonna level with y'all right now. Uh, just looking at my spots that I want to fish. I've been running past them. There's no, there's no moving water. We really need that moving water. So I'm just gonna take a ride out towards uh, further outside the Biloxi Marsh. To see if I can't come across some diving birds. And that'll be my, I mean, that'll kind of be my day giveaway. And if that doesn't pan out, then uh, I'll start working my way back to the dock. You know, maybe spend some time at the ride dam again. Maybe by the time we get there, the south side of the ride dam will have water pushing through it, and that could be really good. But it's just worth looking at. So we'll see. All right, we are here. The tide is indeed falling here. I can tell by looking at the crab traps. That's good, but we've already established it would have to fall for a while for it to really get on. But 
Um, let's try this anyway, okay? This could be good. We could catch some speckled trout and white trout here, or nothing at all. There's only one way to find out. You know, it does make me wonder though, if I just lived at the rock dam all day, I'm talking like, what could I catch there? I might make that a video. If you think that's a good idea, say so in the comments below. If I get enough people to be like, yeah, Devin, that's brilliant, uh, I'll do it. I will camp out at the rock dam all day long. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one more cast. I just fished here enough to know what's gonna happen here, if, if there's gonna be fish here. We're gonna roll back down and we're gonna fish the south side of the rock dam. I say that because if the tide's fallen over there and I imagine that it could be, that water's gonna push through those rocks and could, in theory, blow bait out. And it could make it uh, a lot easier for uh, predator fish to eat prey. And maybe they'll wake up and start feeding. All right, we are here. Oh yeah, you can see that water just coming out of the rocks. So I was right about that and that's cool, but just be nice to see if there's any good biting fish here. That's a weird bite. Man, Sam, what did I say about these fish? I'll start biting later in the day. Boom, there's another one. Wham, that's a keeper. I just got lit up. Well, that's the trout bite. It's gonna make me stay right there. There we go. Wham! I see a redfish at the surface right there. I got him. Come on, come on, dude. There we go. Got him. Oh man, he hit it right there. Oh no, he didn't hit it right there. He got snagged right there. Look at that mullet catch, bro. When's the last time you caught a mullet on the top water? That's how awesome I am. There we go. Another keeper speckled trout, guys. There we go. Uh, it's another redfish. No, no, it's a nice speckled trout. It's a nice trout. Oh God, that Devin, get your together, boy. Good 17 inch fish. Little late day redemption here, boys and girls. There's one right there. Man, it, he hit it as soon as it hit the water. How'd you get smaller on your way in? There we go. Man, they are way in that corner, up in his mullet. You're just gonna feel a thousand mullet tap up against that jig before you get a bite. But when you do, you know it's a trout. It's a nice little auto release. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a few more casts into this corner. If nothing happens, I'll jig my way out of here, going back down out of way, and we'll call it a day. And I'm hung up on a rock. And I'm off the rock. And I'm hung back up on some other rock. And I'm off that rock. All right. Last cast for the shoreline. All right, guys, I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and call it a day. Let me take all this off. Oh, I feel so good to get that off me. Okay, post hurricane fishing trip. Didn't do bad, caught a limit of reds and then some, all right? I did find a good redfish pond that I can go, that I can go back to later. Full of snot grass, full of aquatic grass, but not too much. But redfish swimming around it. I know where fish are at, and that's kind of the idea behind this trip is to go out and get the lay of the land and know where, where fish are. I would have to say overall, you know, I would give it like a, like a B plus or an A minus. Most important thing, or I guess the most important person to ask is, well, what do you think? I mean, how would you chalk up a fishing trip like today? Would you say that it was like freaking awesome? Uh, would you say, oh, hell no, you spent way too much time on the water, or maybe you just should have waited a few more days for the hurricane to settle down or whatever. So whatever it is you think, post it up in the comments below.
And of course, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, please consider subscribing so you're notified next time another video goes live. And if you'd like to know exactly everywhere it is we went, based upon the tracks off this GPS right here, all you have to do is become a member of LAFB Elite. And you can learn more about that at LAFBElite.com. Tight lines, and thanks for watching.